Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video we are going to talk about the a spring boot around advice integration. So I have already created this project uh, and uh, here basically first of all we will have to understand what is around advice. So advised which runs before and after the advised method is called around advice so if you look into my pom.xml then i have added first of all we have added parent uh, means our project is the children of uh, children of this project now in if you come to the dependency injection then i have added dependency for a spring boot starter which will basically add uh, depend which will add the jars which is related to uh, AOP in our class path now another dependency for to write a genuine test cases and finally we have a plugins to which helps us to generate a executable jar so that's all about this pom.xml now we have a model class uh, it's called account which is having a two private fields one constructor and pub public gator methods and we have overridden two testing method that's all about this model class uh, we have one service class and uh, in this service class basically we have a service method is called update account balance which takes two parameter account and amount and uh, here you can have a, some kind of business logic so after processing uh, basically you return the account that may be a modified object right and uh, here basically this service class we have annotated as at rate service and we have given the name as account service so this java class will be instantiated by the container and that will register as a, a spring bin in the a spring container with this name so that's all about this service class now uh, we have written one advice class uh, uh, expect class which and there we have a defined uh, advice which is called around advice so this class we have annotated as at rate expect so this class is considered as a expect class and we have also annotated as at rate component so that this class will be instance instantiated and that will be registered to the spring container now if you look into the a point cut uh, before this around advice we have given the point cut which is basically matching with our this service class method right so here a star means uh, any return type can be accepted and this is the qualif uh, this is the package name this is the class name and here i have given the star a star means i don't care this will apply for the all methods which is available in this uh, interface in in this implementation class you can also apply the wildcard something like this so this will apply this point cut will be applied to the all methods which is available in this class which is charged with update account and the dot, dot dot means that any number of arguments will be accepted and we have defined this method which has return type and object and we have passed parameter as proceeding join points and here just we are trying to print uh, this will print this will basically uh, in real scenario will have a logged message this which will basically print the method name with qualified name which method so this will work for the uh, something like a before advice now we have just recorded the initial time of uh, just a starting point starting execution execution time of uh, that method and uh, we have also noting down the uh, when uh, after uh, advice is executed so this will be printed when your method execution completes and after that we are recording the time and last time and my end time minus start time we are just trying to print in the milliseconds so basically this will print how milli how, how much milliseconds has been taken to execute that method advised method and here uh, if you look into the here here it will it will have to call 
proceed as uh, uh, that uh, processing will be uh, stuck somewhere so until unless you do not call the proceed this uh, after advice will not be called and this message will not be printed so on proceeding join points you will have to call the proceed and proceed will return you an object and here just we are checking object is instance of account and there we have type casted into account and account information just we are printing and here we have a overridden to testing method which will print this object in the some readable format right so here you can see this is this message will be printed uh, for the before advice this is our after advice and here just we are printing how many milliseconds has been taken to execute the advised method and if some and here uh, you can see this is uh, outcome for the after returning so after returning always uh, gives you the return type of advised method so our advised method is this one and return type your account so same we can retrieve over here if some exception is arises then we go to the catch block and here we can print the message so this is after throwing advice so uh, you can say around advice is the combination of all four advices so what we have studied till late right so if you understood these things then let's run this program so here we have a something is called a bootstrap class or this is a starting point of our application and here uh, uh, applic a spring application dot run method i have called by passing this class which returns the reference of application context and we call the get bin method and we are passing uh, uh, instance id which is over here this will give the instance this instance this class instance or this class object and once we got the instance of account service this is a uh, this is basically instance of account service IMPL then once we get the instance uh, service IMPL object then we are calling its method right and I think this is not required at all this is only required when your uh, a service class implements some interface in that case you required this annotation so this annotation I'm gonna remove and uh, let's run this project and see uh, how we get the output now here we are passing the account number which is uh, to the here so uh, if I run this uh, application then see how output we get now here you can see before method so this output we are getting from the around advice so if you go to the around advice then this outcome is coming before method and this is going to print the package qualified name so this is the return type of the method this is the qualified name of the class and this is the method which is available in this class and that is also printing the uh, input so first input is account and second is the long and this uh, this is uh, this output is coming from our uh, our service method which we have printed after that whatever message you are getting uh, that comes from the after uh, that is coming from the around device itself, itself and you go to the around device then uh, this message is getting printed right so same message you are looking over here so this after method means this is the uh, almost equivalent to the after device which we get over here after that total execution time taken by this method that we are printing in the uh, around advice that is showing as 14 milliseconds 14 milliseconds so almost everything we got and this output which is coming from uh, advice itself and that is almost equivalent to the after returning advice right so indirectly you can say uh, your around advice is the combination of uh, before after before advice after advice after returning that's what we get this and after throwing as well so i hope you enjoyed learning this video this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself so i hope you enjoyed learning this video and see you next video tutorial